walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. Okay then, this is Twin World, and that's absolutely all I know about it. I must thank Mark, UK Retro Games, who sent me this, along with um, the game that I played yesterday, and several others. So, uh, thank you, Mark. Now, what do I do? Because <laughs> I ain't got a clue. Okay. I chuck stuff and... stuff. Cool. Pick up the... Oh, God. What the hell's that? He looks like my brother. Some kind of little goblin who left a green thing. Was it a bogey? Lordy. What's with that birdie thing? It seems to be following me. Is it good or bad? Should I kill it or is it going to help me? I've lost things to lob. Okay, it's not good. It's not there to help me. What a bugger. I've got no things to throw. I'm sad now. Oh, stupid. Don't jump in the lava. Helpful hint, hint... Oh, I can't speak. Helpful hint number 542. Don't jump in the lava. Oh. Damn. Yeah, I think I'm not going to do very well here. It's a shame you don't get new projectile pebbles or whatever it is to throw. Oh god. After you get a, you know, you start a new life. That would be nice. I'm Muppet. I just... I should know. Not to do that. Okay. So. What's that 30 there? Is that how many things I've got left to throw? Uh, definitely my brother. Oh. Yeah, that's how many things I've got. That made a cool noise. Hmm. Is that in the background, or...? Oh! I am so crap! How could I do that? And is that guy still around? No, he's not, is he? Good. Is that in the background? No, it's not. Good. lobbing your things away. Can I jump him? Yes, I can. Uh, oops. Ah, oh, that was her. Oh, not all the way back. No, no, that's not fair. You see, I'm, I'm liking this. I think visually it's great. Um, it got a bit of that pixel perfectness that you get on 8-bit platformy oh games which I'm, I'm not really a fan of the whole pixel perfect thing but the character of the game I'm finding very appealing <gasps> oh my god I can hear you all sitting there screaming going what the hell are you doing? I don't know. I'm crap, all right. Oh, Burke. <sighs> Can you stand any more? Um, you're very brave if you can. I mean, God, it's, it's got to be painful to watch. Twat. 
I have in the past said I have the reactions of a retarded sloth or sloth, what, whatever you prefer. But uh, no, I'm thinking actually I have the reactions of a dead sloth or sloth. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Oh. This reminds me of that time I played Smurf. And uh I just kept dying on a blade of grass or the white picket fence, just walking straight into it. Um, yeah, this is very much like that. It's like, here's your enemy. All you've got to do to avoid him is jump when he comes near you. And what do I do? I walk straight into him. Here's the... Lava. All you've got to do is not jump into it. What do I do? This guy's got a funny head. He's kind of ugly, really. He looks like... Actually, he looks like a super deformed Carl Sagan. Which is... <laughs> really badly disrespecting Carl Sagan, because I think he's fantastic, or was fantastic. Rest in peace and all that. Yeah. Okay, there you go. That is, um, what is that? I've forgotten. Take the disc out and have a look. Twin World by someone on the Acorn Archimedes. And again, big thank you to Mark UK Retro Games for sending me that. Um, despite being absolutely appallingly crap at it, I like that and I will play that again. I just won't record it because I can't handle the embarrassment. Thank you for watching.